So it's, this is pretty sad because nurses have gone from being heroes to not. And now they're actually getting fired. How sad is that? How sad that when the country call upon you to go to these hospitals, supposedly infected with COVID-19, they did it. Not only they put their life in the line, but also put the families because they came back home with the potential of being infected. And supposedly hundreds of people were dying. That's pretty scary. Anybody would have been like, no, screw this. I'm going to quit and get another job or simply get all the free money the government is giving. But no, many nurses got up and went to work. And they provided a great, just a fantastic service to our community. You know what? I'm grateful. If you are a nurse, I'm grateful. Or a doctor. Or somebody that worked in a hospital, you know. There's some of you guys here in the channel. You guys do that. I'm very, very grateful. And in fact, I know one guy that actually got it. And he worked there. So, again, you know what? It's, it's interesting to see this because now they're going from being hero to being fire if they refuse to take the shot. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. You know, support the channel by becoming a patron. There's Amazon links, all that stuff down there. You could click in there and you could support the channel because obviously YouTube does not enjoy this type of content. And, you know, advertising is not really too friendly here. But either way, here's the thing that I wanted to mention. These nurses did such an amazing job. They literally put their life in the line to help the community. And now you see this, getting fired. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. Do not take any medical advice from me. I'm just a do sharing my opinions in my spare room. That's who I am. I do this as something that I'm passionate about i got a regular job i come here and i talk to you guys about things that i believe right but the thing that i have been really surprisingly about the whole situation is first of all is the fear people have been living in fear for over a year by now people have died and they haven't been able to say goodbye to the families people have locked themselves inside the houses and haven't come out for months i met people that have done that they don't want to socialize. They don't want to do none of that stuff. Our children have missed prone and really things that they probably looked up their entire life to do. The entire high school to be able to do the pronoun and they miss it. Our children being forced to wear a mask at the age of like, I don't know, what is it? Two, three years old, something ridiculous. Our economy has clashed really bad. People have become lazy because they just want free money. I mean, it has been pretty bad. But again, you know, the spirit of fear has been all over this. There are actually people terrified. I've seen people wearing two masks, still got COVID-19. I've seen people wearing a mask and a face shield. I've seen people wearing a mask, a fa face shield, and a raincoat. Silly stuff. And looked at me weird. Like, I'm weird. you the one wearing a mask, a face shield, and a raincoat, brother. Not me. I mean, I'm not the weird one. But the thing about this is that people are living in fear. Really are. And I, I said this already, I'm not a doctor. But one thing that I've done that I'm pretty, you know, sure of, because I got into a debate just recently, an argument, is that I have never told anyone not to take the shot. Not to wear a mask. If you want to do that, do that. Because I believe in a free country. And if you want to look silly and you want to walk around with two masks, do it. I'm okay with that. The problem that I had since day one was the fact that now you're forcing me to do something. And if I don't do it, I can't work. If I don't do it, I can't buy groceries. And if I don't do it, you know, something's going to happen. And you walk inside Target and people give you the dirty look. Bro, you're the one wearing a diaper in your face. Why are you looking at me like that? Either way, I digress on that one. But they have forces. Don't really enjoy that. Don't really enjoy that. Now, again, if you want to wear a mask, 
wear a mask. I support your rights to wear a mask. I'm okay with that. I'm not a doctor. In some cases, it makes sense. You're an older person, all that, and you, you want to wear a mask? Wear a mask. I'm, I'm okay with that. But again, you know, the fear has been crazy. And going back to these nurses, they have done a good job, but now they're being forced to get vaccinated. And I understand why some of them may have concerns. You know, this vaccination is pretty new. So I get the concern that you don't want to get vaccinated. I get the concern that many Americans have that they don't want to get vaccinated yet. Maybe they're waiting a little bit. Now, on the other hand, if you want to get vaccinated, I, I get it too. I think it's a very personal decision. I got family members that got vaccinated and I say, okay. But now the problem that we have is that now because you're not vaccinated, and again, I'm not encouraged you to be or not to be. I'm encouraged you to talk to a doctor, make your own decision, and don't listen to people here on YouTube because I'm not a doctor. And many of the guys are talking about this is not a doctor. Your situation may be totally different than somebody else's situation or my situation. So if you want to be vaccinated, talk to your doctor and make your own decision. But now the problem is that if you don't get vaccinated, this is the pandemic of the unvaccinated. De Blasio from New York just says it's time to mandate. What does that mean, sir? That means that if some Americans don't agree that you want to inject my children with something that it has been so new that we don't know what's going to happen, what does it mean that it's time to mandate us? How are you going to do that? That's interesting. Are you going to come door to door and make sure? Or are you going to do what they're doing to these nurses? Listen to this. More than 100 staff members in the Houston, Houston hospital were fired for refusing to get COVID-19 uh, you know, vaccination. This is just a portion. So these people that happen to be heroes just last year that put their life in the line, that went to work with COVID-19 patients that could potentially brought this back to the family. Now they're getting fired because they don't want to take the vaccine. So either you do it or you will be fired. Sounds like control to me. Reminds me of guns. You want to carry a gun? You better get a concealed carry permit and we're going to charge you money. Or if not, we pull you in jail. You want to work here? You better get vaccinated or if not, we fire you. Sounds like a lot of control because I'm going to tell you, out of those 100 people that refused and got fired, I guarantee you that were a thousand that didn't want to do it, but they took it because they had a knee, they had to provide for the family, they had to, you know, so many different things. It's not that easy to just say, I'm leaving. When you get medical insurance, where your family make a living out of this. So I totally get that. I totally get that you had to get vaccinated vaccinated because you had to provide for your family. I'm not here to judge anyone. You make your own decision. I know this person that literally her job made the appointment for her, gave it four hours off, and pretty much it was like a little a little harassment for you to take the vaccine. Right? So they went from heroes to being fire. This is sad right here. Because I'm going to tell you, some people are going to say, well, you know, they are already required to take vaccination and, you know, the military and all this. I get that. You know, some hospital require you to take the flu shot and things like that. But the flu shot has been around for a while. You know, some of this thing has been approved. This shot is not even approved yet. As far as I know, it's under the emergency status or whatever. So I understand if some people are not okay with it. I understand if some people are a little bit, you know, okay, I want to take a little bit more time and I want to make sure that everything is okay. I understand that. I understand that some people don't want to do it. But you know what? Here's what we're coming to. Either you do it or you're fired. I feel, man, when I seen this issue that we're having with nurses nowadays, I'm telling you, it's, it's a little bit disappointing because like I said, you know, these people did so much for our community, and now they are facing, you know, 
this kind of financial situation where they're getting fired because they don't want to take a shot. It's very unfair what happened to or what's happening to our nurses and many of, of our Americans here. And I'm going to tell you, for some of you guys, this is the last thing I'm going to say. For some of you guys that agree with this, mandates and firing you and all that, there will be a day you keep giving away your freedoms. And there will be a day where something will be mandated on you and you won't like it and you won't have a leg to stand on. Because the more that we give away our freedoms, the more dangerous that it gets. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.